All right, ladies, if you want to see how I got this look, which I would not normally wear, it was just for fun. I was trying to do something that I saw other YouTubers do with the NYX base, putting the white all over. Stay tuned for the tutorial. Well, I'm going to put this NYX base and use this tape because I see other YouTube uh, gurus doing this stuff. And I say, let me try this stuff and see how it works for me. I see them put the tape on so they can get the nice, clean line at the end and don't overdo it with the... Uh, eyeshadow also I see them putting the white base all over really really thick and I was like hmm I'm gonna try that too and see how that works out so this is a very fun not too serious video yet I'm still doing a makeup look that if you like it you can wear it you can wear all the colors some of the colors none of the colors hey whatever floats your boat but this is very fun for me don't take it seriously unless you actually like the colors um, so here you see me putting the NYX white it's basically the NYX jumbo pumps with milk all over. Then I'm going to take a, it's a lime green color by CoverGirl. They only have um, one color of this particular color. So whenever you go, I don't know the name of it, but I guess when you go to CoverGirl, you'll see the color and just buy it if you like it. Then I'm going to take um, an orange color. It's a Halloween uh, makeup. I forgot where I get this from. I had this for a long, long, long time. Bloody Mary press eyeshadow um, it's like I said it's a Halloween color but you can use any orange that you can get your hands on I probably got it from a costume store like where they sell Halloween costumes I ain't no telling but it, it's definitely Halloween makeup so it'll probably be so wherever they sell Halloween costumes I guess then I use this orange color by MAC. I forget what it is, but orange MAC doesn't have that many orange colors, so whenever you go in the MAC store, just be like, whatever orange you got, let me see. Um, I guess you'll figure out which one you want from there once you see them. It probably was Rule, R-U-L-E. I don't remember, but MAC doesn't have a lot of oranges. Then I took the virgin color out of the Naked One palette and put that under the brows for a highlight. Then I use I Love Matte Wet n Wow palette. I use a purple out of there and then I use a black out of there to define a V shape in the crease area. I use the purple first and then I put the black on. So this is a very, <laughs> very colorful, color, colorful look here. Here you see me using the black out of the uh, I Love Matte Wet n Wow palette. And that totally covered up the purple. Oh well. Oh well. Do tell. <laughs> yeah, that tape's kind of rough. So I'm going back in that lime color eyeshadow by CoverGirl and going halfway under my eye. And the other half, I'm going to use an orange. I think I'm going to use that MAC orange that I had earlier for the other half of under my eye. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with this look. Okay, this is a beauty supply store, your local beauty supply store. Santee, S-A-N-T-E-E. -E. Diamond liquid liner has glitter in it. It's green. Um, if you have a local beauty supply store, a local Chinaman store, um, they may carry this or may not. But this is the only place that I found it was in my local beauty supply store. Then I use uh, LA Splash eyeshadow sealer base, which is kind of like a glue on the bottom outer half. And this is just a regular craft store glue that I got from like a hobby store craft store it's a little glitter positions formula the navy blue gel liner now we got my liner with this now the name of the glitter that I got from the um, craft store is probably by Martha Stewart I don't know the name of the color because I took them all out of their uh, containers okay I'm gonna put Derma blend it's just gonna make me look like bright like Michael Jackson. Derma Blend is like a tattoo cover-up concealer. It's 
good for like burn marks or people who have something major to cover up on their skin, anywhere on their skin, not just their face. I'm going to use that as my highlight color. <gasps> Hair glue got in my brush. My bad. Hello Flawless Benefit uh, Foundation Powder in Hazelnut. And I got this from Sephora. And I'm trying to tone down this Michael Jackson skin complexion that I have going on here. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It works out all in the end. You see that? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take this Physician's Formula Healthy Wear Bronzer and Tan. I got that from the drugstore. I'm just going to put that in as my contour. Trying to get my complexion right since I made my face really, really bright with that Derma Blend Concealer. And I think the Derma Blend Concealer, I think it was in Warm Ivory, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to use Gold Deposit Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer by MAC to give a nice little glow to the cheek. I'm going to use my Elf's Flawless Face Palette that I got from Target, Target for five hot dollars and use that blush in there. I hardly ever use this thing, so I figured I'd use it, but it wasn't enough. So then I went behind that and used another blush, Coralina um, by Milani. It's a baked eye, I'm sorry, it's a baked blush, Coralina, Coralina. Then I'm using Temptation, uh, I think it's by CoverGirl, it's an orange lipstick and that completes the look i hope you ladies enjoyed this i had so much fun playing in my makeup that night it was like three or four o'clock in the morning and i was just playing in my makeup honey and this is what i came up with love some